State Senator Chris McDaniel is running for lieutenant governor, hoping to replace incumbent Delbert Hoseman. During his announcement today, McDaniel accused Hoseman of blocking Governor Tate Reeves' conserv conservative agenda, like eliminating the state income tax. You worked hard to eliminate the income tax bill we had last year. I want to explain that to you. There is no better thing we can do for this state for upward mobility. No better thing we can do for this state to make sure our children have jobs and productivity than to eliminate the income tax. It is a tax on productivity. It's a tax on success. Governor Reeves supports that. The House of Representatives supports that. Philip Gunn supports that. Every Republican I talk to seems to support that, except one, and that's Delbert Hoseman. Shane Quick, who ran for lieutenant governor back in 2019, has also filed to run against Hoseman. McDaniel previously ran for the U.S. Senate in 2014 and 2018. He failed to win either election. During the 2014 Republican primary between McDaniel and now deceased U.S. Senator Thad Cochran, a group of McDaniel supporters conspired to take pictures of Cochran's wife, who at that time was living at a Madison nursing home. After a photograph was briefly published online in an attempt to claim Cochran was unfaithful to his bedridden wife, an uproar ensued. Police began investigating even as Cochran went on to win a runoff against McDaniel. During his announcement today, McDaniel wished Cochran's family the best and said if they ever want to talk, his door is open. If they ever want to come talk to me, um, the door is open. And I'll say one more thing about that. Um, they say a year in politics is an eternity. Well, that was nine years ago. Nine eternities. And, um, that's water under the bridge. We have to move forward. We have to repair uh, friendships that perhaps were broken. And we have to do it in a kind way, in a polite way, and I hope we can do that. Well, after the announcement, Casey Phillips, the senior advisor for Delbert Hoseman's campaign, called McDaniel, the, McDaniel rather, the least effective politician in the state with the largest ego, saying Mississippians have rejected McDaniel in multiple statewide campaigns. In a statement, Phillips said Hoseman's conservative record is clear, implementing voter ID to secure state elections, passing the largest tax cut in Mississippi's history, and overseeing a major teacher pay raise.